Yo, what's up? We are now in my Tesla Model 3, also known as MC Hammer. And in this video, I want to try to measure what kind of potential we will have with heat pump versus PTC heater. So for you guys who don't know, this one, uh, this Model 3 is from 2019. And uh, supposedly the 2020 models and new, uh, the late 2020 models, and then from now on, will get heat pump in the Model 3 and Model Y. So um, I always wondered how efficient is it? I did the video uh, last year about this, but then it was in completely different days and uh, I did the Model 3 versus uh, uh, eSoul and yeah, I, I don't know what result I found out there. It wasn't a very good conclusion, but I will try once more. So we are camped now here at Klofta and it's only six degrees celsius outside but i think six degrees okay it's not proper winter yet but it is realistic winter-ish throughout europe so it's not relevant only for norwegians but let's say m many parts in germany france netherlands you can probably get around five degrees celsius right in uh, winter and uh, you don't always drive at night so in the daytime it might be five degrees so i think it's somewhat relevant still and right now so I will do a series of tests, I will come back to that, but right now I'm doing the camping test first. So prior to coming here, I preheated the car in the garage at home for at least an hour. So the battery and the car cabin, everything here is nice and warm, which is very important because now the car only needs to add extra heat to maintain uh, my design temperature, which is 21 degrees Celsius. So we put the car in camp mode. So we don't accidentally run the battery heater if we exit the car. And then it seems like we are pulling about 1.5 kilowatt here. This app is called Scan My Tesla. And then, okay, uh, the light here sucks a little bit of power, not too much, but the screen uh, also sucks some power. So uh, we might actually be sucking over one kilowatt, let's say one to 1.3 kilowatt for PTC heater. And from what I've seen before, in these similar conditions, around six degrees Celsius, a heat pump should be pulling only 300, 400 watts versus 1.2 kilowatt, maybe. So we, we, wanna, we wanna find out. So now we just have to camp. I reset also, scan my Tesla to see uh, how many kilowatt hour we spend during half an hour, because I want to know how many kilowatt are we pulling on the heater on average. But we have to do a series of tests and then I will calculate the results. All right, it's been exactly half an hour since we did the measurement. And the state of charge here is a bit funny because it goes a little bit up and down. Now it says 59.9 and then 59.8 and then it goes up and down. But at least we should be able to trust this number here, 0.74 kilowatt hours. So it means roughly we can run it up to 1.5 kilowatt. That's what this car was pulling with the heater on. So I will come back to this result. I'll just write it down. But now we will drive. Um, I will reposition a little bit. I will actually start from over there. So the start end point will be right over there, which is right here. And then I drive, uh, I think it was eight kilometers something. I don't remember. I drive over here and then come back again. And I do maybe two, three times to see if I get consistent result with the heater on. So I will just reset here and then off we start. And I think, okay, the speed I will choose is 110 kilometers per hour on this speedometer. It's a hundred zone over there. So hopefully we won't have too much traffic messing up our result. We are on the run now and we use 20, uh, 21 degrees. Oh, what the heck? No, phantom braking, stop that shit. Ah, scheisse. But uh, we use 21 degrees Celsius on auto and we want to uh, avoid getting any draft effect or getting stuck behind some other car so yes i will do a little sin and drive like a typical norwegian hug the left lane and see if i can get as consistent results as possible so driving conditions today are pretty good dry roads and not too much wind and yeah six degrees celsius outside round one 213 watt of a kilometer Around two, 208 watt hour kilometer. Okay, it could be that we were stationary for half an hour and then things cooled down. So let's do one more run and see if we get a uh, similar result. All right, round number three, 207. So 
I think we will set this consumption to be 208. And now what we do is we turn off HVAC and we run three more tests. Okay, I already see one potential flaw here. We have one guy here. Uh, he drives almost the same speed as me. He actually, actually accelerated uh, fairly hard in the beginning and then he slowed down and yeah. So it might not seem like it, but I believe I'm getting a little bit of drafting effect from him, even though I'm about three, four uh, uh, seconds behind him. So uh, we will see then in the two next tests. Okay, first run without HVAC, 187. So that's 20 watt amp per kilometer lower than with the heater on. Okay, let's go again. All right, round two, <laughs> 191. So I suspect that I was getting a little bit of drafting effect from that car. So let's try one more lap then. All right, third run, 188. Okay, I'm not sure why the second run was higher, but uh, I think we can set it to 188 as the average or something result. And then with the heater, it was 208. So it's exactly 20 lower. And I also timed that the lap here took exactly five and a half minutes this one counts now actually since yeah it still counts even if we are in park a park but five and a half minutes so we can also calculate average speed uh, but we need to do one more test and the last test is to measure the the idle consumption while the car is just parked but without the lights on well actually hmm should be with lights on. okay let's turn it off it shouldn't matter too much but so what i want to do now is Check the time, 22.07. So what I will do is reset trip and then the stationary here will be set to zero. Well, it needs a little bit of time. It's bouncing a little bit, but there, zero. Okay, and now we wait half an hour and we camp here and see how much we consume then. We are now sitting in an i3 and this car has heat pumps. So I will use this as a reference for a car with heat pump. So we're going to do the exact same thing, which is to drive the same route with and without heater and see what we get. So in the i3, I just leave it on 21 degrees Celsius, auto, and then we reset the trip. Everything with this kind of weird. We have to reset the consumption there. And then we reset the trip distance here. So, um, all right. Round one, 209 watt per kilometer. Yeah, it goes up a little bit now. It was 209. And the speed also, yeah, this one won't stop when you park. And the distance is uh, 8.1. Okay. All right, let's go one more lap. Okay, we also cruise 110 here. Uh, it's slightly colder, minus, I mean, it's 5.5 degrees. But 110 here is about 107 real speed, whereas in Tesla, 110 there is 108, 100, 108 something, but close enough. All right, 100, uh, 211, so close enough. The other one is 208, let's say 210 then. Okay, and now we turn off HVAC. There, it's completely off, and then we try again. We don't change mode here, we don't change driver, we still use the comfort mode. Whoa, 199 only. All right, okay, let's do one more lap. Round two, 198, all right. So now I'm gonna go home because it's very late and I will analyze the data. All right, we are now back in the i3. Uh, I will explain now what all these tests were for. So if we look here, um, the first test, the first driving test was to measure how much the Model 3 spent with heater when it was driving. And I took the 208 uh, as the, the consumption number. And then with the HVAC off, I took, I chose the 188. So that's 20 watt hour per kilometer lower. And then we did the same test with the i3. And then I chose to use 200 and, I guess we can use 209 as the consumption with heater. And then the 199 without heater. So you see the difference there is 10 watt hour per kilometer. And so based on that, um, oh yeah, and also uh, when I did the stationary test with the Model 3, I just wanted to know, that was just a bonus to see how much did it spend when it was running the heater, which was 1.5 kilowatt. And then when I was just camped, uh, it 
pull 250 watts. So that means that uh, stationary and the, the Model 3 sucks 1.25 kilowatt, but then when it's moving, it will suck. Actually, you can calculate it based on average speed. We see that the average speed was 90 kilometers per hour on that route. And then it means that in the moving state, uh, Model 3 sucks 1.8 kilowatt. And then versus the i3, which has a heat pump, it was only 900 watts. So you can say in those conditions, the heat pump is about twice as efficient as a PTC heater. But of course, it's not the same car. One car might be better insulated than the other, but I think it will still give you some indication. And this also means that um, if we have 10 watt hour per kilometer difference, it means that a Model 3 with heat pump in those conditions should be um, a 10 watt hour per kilometer lower consumption. And that means that the total consumption for that test would be about 5% lower. So that's, I, you know, based on my test now, that is my best guess on what the Model 3 with heat pump would be in winter. So 5% gain, well, is it that much? Um, I guess for, for a car with fairly big battery, then Five, uh, 10 watt hour per kilometer doesn't matter that much but uh, and of course okay it's if it's colder outside then it would be different but then to a certain point where the heat pump doesn't become that effective versus PTC anymore when it's really cold but then we don't know how the octo valve and how Tesla engineered uh, the heat pump because traditionally heat pump below minus 10 degrees Celsius is not very efficient I think around minus 10 minus 20 heat pump is more or less as efficient as, as PTC heater so right interesting but you know in the end if you have a fairly big battery, I mean, what does this tell you? Uh, even a classic car without the heat pump, it's still not going to be the end of the world. 5% is not that huge. Some people might make you believe that, oh, you need a heat pump. Yeah, because without heat pump, it will suck balls. But really, 5% in this case, and then maybe 10% in other cases, and then maybe even less in other cases again. So, all right, I think uh, that's going to be it for now then. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.